I'm a fishing man out on the lake. All you need is a line and a pole that'll never break. Hey there, it's the Redneck Preppy with you, and we got a box of tackle. I wonder if I'll be lucky. Lucky Tackle Box. So as you may remember in the past, uh, used to subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box. Eh, kind of got tired of it. Went to RLM Elite from Simple Fishing. They, however, have gone on hiatus. Hopefully they'll be back, but one never knows. So in the meantime, I figured I'd do Lucky Tackle Box because, eh, why not? Nobody seems to do Lucky Tackle Box. Everybody does Mystery Tackle Box or something. So yeah, that's it. So this is, as I said, the February 2020 box. Uh, I know it's a little late in the month, but I joined a little late in the month, so eh, what are you going to do? Anyway, uh, this is the $15 box. Uh, I went with the lowest subscription tier because one, I'm cheap, and two, I operate under the theory that if a company can't do the entry-level box properly, they probably can't do the more expensive boxes either, so let's find out. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, let's get into this sucker. What we got here? All right, they got a magazine. Back to basics, the Senko. Or stick worm, whatever you want. Oh, they call it the stick worm. I guess they don't have Senkos in here. Why do I think there's going to be stick worms in here? Contents, propaganda, categories of bass baits, top, middle, and bottom. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. Six ways to rig this... The, the stick worm, we got the wacky rig, yeah, weightless rig, yeah, Ned rig, yeah, Texas rig, yep, Carolina rig, yep, and a Nico rig, yep. A Nico rig is just a wacky rig with a weight at one end, in case you didn't know. What else we got here? Anything? Uh, social media, yeah, and a little puzzle. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So oh, immediately we're greeted with, oh, what's in the box? Well, we'll save that. We're greeted with Diatract Sense Surge Technology. Make them hungry, make them hunt, make them hook. Formula. Two fishing lure hooks. Two ounces of Diatract. Oh, this, so this is scent. Okay, well, let's find out what the hell we got here. I am on record, of course, having said many times, I do not believe in scents for fishing. I think it's they attract anglers more than they attract fish, but well, that's just me. Not everyone agrees with me. So it's formula number 10, all species, all seasons. So it doesn't actually tell you, plastic bottle, what scent it is. It's just formula number 10. And what else? They said there's... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Well, here's a hook. I assume there's going to be another one in here. Well, there's another hook. Let's, we don't want that to spill. Oh, you got some craws in here. Okay. Alright, so you got a little scent lure pack of craws. Hooks. And scent. Interesting. Diatract sense surge. I've never heard of diatract. It must be new. And they're not on the what is in the box card. Oh. Huh. Okay. I don't know if this is supposed to be in the box or it's uh hey, thanks for joining or what, but okay. Alright, we got some scent. Right, let's get in here. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Stick worms. Looks like, what is that, pumpkin? No, it doesn't say. It's the five and a quarter inch ace. It doesn't say what color it is, though. Pumpkin. Well, maybe watermelon. And it's the ace stick bait, and you get six in here. Hmm. I don't know if this is a sample pack or what, but okay. Uh, I love stick worms. Uh, I swear to God, I fish these so much that it's actually obscene. So, hey, I'm happy. Super. All right, next up, we got Matrix Shad. 
the Matrix Hog. Well, let's find out what we got. Okay, so it's a creature bait. Hmm, creature bait. You can fish these many different ways. Texas rigged, weightless. You can pitch it. And all that other nonsense that we anglers talk about as if we're experts on something. Cool. Oh, I like it. Okay. Uh, let's see how many you got in here. Uh, let's say eight. I don't know. Cool. Okay. So far, so good. And we got our so. Oh, hey. Well, that could have been interesting. We got ourselves a lipless crankbait from Raw Outdoor. Three ounce, uh, three inches. It's a half ounce, and it's a lipless rattle bait. Hmm. Okay, uh, I, I like me uh, lipless crank baits, and this is going to be good soon, assuming the snow and the frozen weather ever depart northern Ontario. Uh, great early season um, lure when you've got emergent vegetation and you rip this above them, so that uh, above the vegetation, and it just catches that vegetation. And you're dragging, ripping it across it. The fish and then vegetarian go for, vegetarian. The fish and the vegetarian go for this. So cool, super. Okay, good. I like it. And I don't own any lipless crankbaits in this color pattern, so that's good. Sweet. Looks nice. Well, let's take a look at it. Try not to hook myself here. Yeah, it's nice. It's a simple paint job, but I mean, I'm not one of these super holograph laser etched paint jobs I've caught fish on handmade hand painted lures and done just as well so cool okay I like it so far so good so that's the stick paint the matrix hog and what do we got next well, we got a lot of a lot of Terminal tackle here. We've got a Texas rig kit. Actually, we have two of them. This has one hook in it, one swivel. And this has two hooks, one swivel, and a ball. Interesting. Um, that's an interesting way of selling things. Random amounts of stuff in them. Okay, so this is your Texas rig kit. Must add wide gap, three out hooks and beads. I'm assuming that's what this is. Hmm, okay. Well, I didn't lie. And next up we have the wacky rig kit. And uh, there's a hook, some o rings, a screw. I've never used a screw for wacky rigging. I mean, usually you just put the um, O-ring around the worm and then you put the hook between the, the worm and the O-ring. I don't know what the screw is for. Yeah, it doesn't even explain. Made with Norwegian technology in our state-of-the-art China fa facility. <laughs> okay, whatever. A wacky rig kit and this one has no o-rings whatsoever I'm confused but okay whatever it all equals out as I suppose that one does now there's three hooks two swivels and two beads here you have two hooks two screws whatever the hell that's for and two uh, o-rings Okay, well, they got a little hole in them where you can put the hook in. That's good. But I don't know what the screws are for. I'm going to be honest with you. I have never wacky rigged using screws. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Okay, so there's your haul. So you got uh, the wacky rig kit. You've got Texas rig kit. You got yourself a nice lipless rattle crankbait. You got the hogs, matrix hog, and 
you got yourself some worms, or sorry, stick worms from Gambler. I've used these before, these are good. Nothing equals a Senko, but these are good. And then, not on uh, the what's in the box thing, is this. It's uh, the, uh, the Sense Surge Attractant with some lures. Hmm, okay, I don't know what to make of that, but because like I said, it's not in the what in the box. Hmm, okay. So I guess it's time to rate this. It, it's kind of hard to rate because if I take this away for $15, uh, this is like, what, about four and a half bucks? Four and a half bucks. Let's say three bucks, or uh, sorry, look this crank. They say it's about 10 bucks. Okay, so you've, you've gotten your value. Okay, so yeah, you've got about 25 bucks in value, and it costs $15. This, I don't know what the hell to make of it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, out of my patented three thumb system, I'm going to include this because it's in the box. I can't ignore it, even if it's not in the what in the box. I got to give it two thumbs out of three. You know, I'm not blown away by the terminal tackle. I mean, I've got a metric ton of it. Stick worms are always appreciated. The creature baits, cool. With this crank, yeah, I'll give it two out of three thumbs. I think that's fair. So anyway, there you go. That's your February uh, lucky tackle box. Well, on the whole, the first box doesn't piss me off, so I suppose it's a success for Lucky Tackle Box, and I will continue subscribing to them for the foreseeable future. Uh, if you were entertained by this video for some reason, feel free to give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I got tons of fishing, shooting, hunting, survival stuff. You know, we're good with that. And guns. Guns, of course. Shooting and guns, of course. Um, Feel free to, like I said, subscribe to the channel. In the description below, you'll find links to both my Facebook and Twitter pages. And, you know, feel free to share your thoughts on the box. Uh, there's a comment section below. I answer every single comment that's left. So, you post something, I'm going to respond. That's just how I roll. Anyway, have yourself a great day. Tight lines, and I hope you can go fishing where you are. Bye-bye.